Hey guys, Lego Prime Films here, and this is my Lego Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime version 2. So this guy is surprisingly actually much more clean and more color realistic than my version 1. And he stays together a lot better. The other one was just really fragile. So my version 1 instructions are on BrickLink right now, but I'll put this guy on there when I get to it. I have a lot going on right now, so. Um, not really much to talk about on this guy, except he does have some fragile parts, and some parts sound really well. Um, you can see, my bad, I'm missing tile right there. I should have red tile there. And I'll do my best to... That's going to be one of the first updates that I do because I feel like it just really doesn't fill it in completely. And Here, this is what it would look like, you know, with another red tile. There. I feel like it really, it does make it look better, even just that one tile does. So I'll definitely be getting to that. Um, for some reason, this grill kind of leans forward just a little. Kind of have to push it back up because none of this is tabbed in here. It's just flopped there. And I kind of got lazy transforming him and back into his truck mode. As you can see, some of the stuff that definitely does fit together, I just got lazy and didn't feel like doing it. Here's a view from the side. Here's a view from the back. And here's a view from the top. So you can see it definitely does look even better from the top than it does any other. Here's a view from the front. So again, it definitely looks like a semi-truck. Really does. It's just, there's a lot of open space that I probably, well, I definitely should have filled in. Like here, there's a lot open space there. Um, in this back, honestly, it's just not the best transformation for like these sides. So I feel like I'll probably, that'll be one of the new updates too. Um, again, this is my version 2. So on BrickLink, my version 1 is on there, but not my version 2 yet. Even though I've had this guy built for probably 2 or 3 months. Um, not really much to talk about. He does have doors and all that. He looks really good in robot mode, I think. Super, it's like extremely movie accurate. So, I guess we'll size in my Lego Revenge of the Fallen Joel, one of the first Transformers that I made. And I have a lot of Transformers built, as you saw in that Devastator video. And remember, 100 subscribers, and I will do the instructions on Bricklink for Devastator. And I will do the transformation video. But until then, he's just going to sit beautifully on my desk. See, I do have a lot. So, these two Optimus Primes are definitely on Bricklink. I also have Dark the Moon Leadfoot who transforms. And yes, Jolt. And the Beast Wars Megatron. If you guys really want the Beast Wars Megatron... See, because he doesn't transform gray, I guess you can put it in the comments or something. And then my Devastator. And Devastator does have all nine of his components. He's the son of a mark. Super movie accurate. Here he is sized by a Lego guy. So I feel like size comparison is kind of accurate. Here he is sized by a leader class. Age of Extinction Alchemist Prime, so... This guy is definitely a leader class that I built. He is big. Not quite the same length, but he is definitely a leader class. It's pretty giant. And I was thinking I might honestly probably not 
for a while because I really like how this guy turned out. But if I ever get sick of this guy, I'm probably keeping together. But I might build a Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime 2 and use whole different windows. You know, like those ones that are uh, one by two tall, like that, and they're out and just smooth. I might try something with that. But for now, this is all I got. So let's see. Here he is sized by Leader Class Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. So this is a way bigger Leader Class than the other one. So I guess compared to this guy, my guy would be... My guy is bigger than a Voyager Class. And just a little bit smaller than a Leader Class, but for Lego, that is definitely a Leader Class. So to get started, what you want to do first is get these smokestacks and bring them out and around. Slide them over, around, and down. And slide them up till they come up with that thing. Slide them around, over, here, down, and. Now you want to get this part, bring it up. Get this part back here, bring it up. And you want to get this part here and bring it just up and sit there. Bring this side up. Now, okay. Now you want to get this whole body and bring it up. back on that hinge for a second. This guy wants to fall apart now. He was fine. It's literally on a 1x6 stud, so I don't know why it's falling apart. It should be the most sturdy piece on this Lego Transformer, but it's not. That was my bad. Okay. Now that he's all wild and maybe even has wings to fly. Kidding. Um, he can go up and back here and just fold these hinges out so he can get right back like that. Balance. Balance. Okay. Now you want to untab these things from each other. Uh, get this and actually twist it a little so it's angled. Yeah. And then you want to get this and fold it in. Just like that. And you want to get this and twist it a little. Put it in. And now bring his feet up, up, and that's legs. No, I'm kidding. Now bring this hinge here up, it's not hooked onto anything. Bring this down, just like that. And we'll wait for this side now. He likes to fall apart, but once he's in robot mode, he's actually extremely sturdy. Nothing wants to fall off on him then. 
set for this. There. Okay, now get this part down here. And now, kind of just split the legs like that. And here you want to bring this out there and down and have it into that one by two blue stud there. Everything's falling apart. I bring this forward and back and tab this and so I'll show you where it's tabbing in just a second. There we go. Okay. This is tabbing in there. And it keeps the foot pretty much in place, so these legs did take a while to figure out. Just to do, you know. But I finally did them. Now I get this red thing, whatever it is, fold it down. Same on this side. Fold it down. There. Okay. Now get this here on these and bring the legs down. Get his, let's try to get a angle. Get his arms and split them. Like that. Get this thing out here. And then here. Bring this piece up here and angle it down. And bring this part in. Just like that. Bring this down, that's the tapping. This will tap into there. Now, other side, bring this up. Right here. Here. Okay. Get his head, kind of spray it out forward just to get it out of the way. It was definitely the most complex transformation that I've ever had. Her design, in fact. Bring this down, out, here, forward, up. Bring this down, tab, maybe not. Bring this out a little. And. Tap it. You gotta get it just right or his back will keep collapsing. I think it tucks up like that and it pushes against it. No, that's the wrong way. Oh, I see what I did wrong. So many hinges here, you have to get it just right. Okay. Tab it in there. Okay. You can see he's already starting to form. Stand him up for now. really back heavy until he's transformed. Okay, there we go. Now let's position the camera again. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he just needs to stay like this, you know? Okay, bring this back here. Have this flat part forward. He has a bunch more mobility then. Bring his arm down. Later, take this 
here. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to get until everything is in its place. Okay. Bring this out. Bring this piece forward. Around. And then slide up all the way. And get the door. Bring it out. Get this part here. Move it up on that hinge, bring the door, put it forward. Here's one side. Now, on this hinge thing there, bring it down. Bring this here up a little. Yeah. Back, let that go there. Fix this. You just head, bring it up out of the way. Um, I have to get this part just right. Bring this back. Forward a little more. There we go. Perfecto. Now, same for this side. Up. Yeah, it's so hard to transform in front of the camera. Bring his head down. Around. Like that. Get this hinge. Around. So since I didn't think it would look good with the doors there, I had them tucked back behind these things. So you know, they'll just fold forward like that. But I actually liked how that looked. It actually looked really good. Slide this all the way out. Bring his head up. Wall has the clearance, bring this hinge down, down, bring this back, bring this down. Kind of see them starting to come together. Angle it a little, bring this down more. So it's coming forward a little, yeah. And then bring his head, place it. Forward, down, so it lines up with that, okay? It's definitely starting to come together now. All right. Now, bring his arm here. There, okay. Oh, what the heck? His arm just fell off. Rotate this. Clapping it against that. Now what you want to do, there's hand out. Rotate this piece and now get this around, slide it over. It's got no stud in the center, which makes it extremely helpful. Okay. Bring his arm positioned, I guess. Bring his hand out up here. There's one of his arms. It's kind of so hard to transform. Here. 
forward now. Rotate this part down, up, down, his hand out. Rotate this in, position it. Slide this part over and slide this over just like that. Fix it. Okay. Position these more. You can see it's definitely coming together now. Now Just a second. All right, now, coming to the back. Angle, angle that a little. Get this part. Up on up. There we go. You wanna get this piece and bring it. around on that ball joint is really really tight right there Fold that. I actually got this idea from a random this is version one Optimus Prime for the back but it does show a lot of fragileness right here because of the door so I will be giving it a new update later on so be one of the first things I also update He's a lot of flaws with him on this Alchemist Prime, but this is the best I could do for now. Up, down, around, excuse the talking upstairs. Here, there. All right, now it's got Okay, so this part here, it's gonna be on this. It'll rotate around. And then you wanna bring it in and in. If it wants to stay on. Just like that. That's how I like to at least. Slide it down. You can really tuck it in then. It's right in between there. Okay, now. Here again, and then and, and slide it down here, and it'll go right inside there. Okay, bring this up. Tab this back in because this wants to untab literally a hundred times a day while I'm transforming it. But then after that, it's pretty smooth. It does not want to untab after that, actually. Okay, fix his head. So this part here, I'll actually make his body sit up. So then once I stand him up, he does not sag down, I don't think. Come on, fix this. Doors in, 
it up just a little. Oh, no wonder it keeps falling down. Untapped again. Not untapped, it just broke. There, okay. This guy... Uh. Come on. In, come on. Why the heck does it not want to keep this up? This is then standing on my desk. For like five, what the heck? Look at his doors now. <laughs> like an angry Optimus Prime. <sighs> fix it, fix it. I'm sorry for such a long video, guys. This guy does not want to stay together right now. He was my favorite Transformer until now, and now that he's being such a pain in the butt when I'm trying to put him in the video, he's not. I gotta say, Devastator probably is. Devastator is on this place. There we go, here. Okay. No. He's still sagging. Come on, Magnus, you're not ghetto or anything. Oh my gosh. You know what? Until I fix this guy, That is it, I guess. I mean, I don't know why everything's falling apart. He's so hard to transform in front of the camera, so if you're thinking he's fragile, yeah, he is. But also, he looks really good in both modes, I think, mainly in robot mode. So I will start a new video once I finally get him fixed because I just, I'm looking through the camera the way it's, it is, and it's just really hard to do, guys, so. I'll be back. Please like and subscribe. And remember 100 subscribers for Lego Revenge of the Fallen Devastator.